，这个放到家里面，它进去里面就有一锅三老味的。It's an evergreen, a cedar or something. Yeah. Yeah. Very fragrant. Hmm. So it's all local wood, right? Mm. And are these dead trees or trees they have to cut down? Because that clearly looks like the base of a tree, right? That's where the roots begin. It's just turned upside down. You see? That's like this, you say, every year they have to cut these trees. Okay, I see. Very cool. There's a fish one over there. But this size, you know, will need to be that's too small. Yeah, no, these are uh, these are amazing tea tables, especially when they're varnished. Look at this one. This one he's working on. I mean, they're epic, but the, the cost. <laughs> you really have to be into uh, wood and tea to justify. Imagine how cool this is when they're finished. How would you get into this? How could you carve faces like this out of wood? Yeah, even the little ones are so pretty. They just sit around waiting for somebody to love them. Iguana. Where did you get the idea for an iguana? That's uh, just, uh, Mexican. The shape of the... No, but I mean, his lizard. <laughs> Has he seen one of those in real life? He's got a big iguana table out here. He's really into iguanas, I guess. Massive tables. That thing must weigh as much as a car, at least half as much. Now you can see where tea tables are born. Just a local guy with a passion for wood and tea. We have to find 